When I rebuilt the layout, I decided to use cobalt slow action point motors on all of the points which were in the scenic area. And you've probably seen them being connected up on the Mimic board video. The only downside is you have to individually solder and push in each wire. And on the bottom of the point motors, you can have up to nine wires. And I've got 26. So I decided to come up with a little multi plug to make the task that much easier. Push all the connections in in one go and not spend your entire life lying underneath a baseboard. So, what you need first is some wire, multi core, and some PCB board from eBay, and some headers from eBay. They have to be the 19mm ones. And first off, I break them into groups of nine, and then we get into the CAD. Drew up the headers, and then drew up the piece of PCB board I would be using, and then use them to establish the size of a plug. Here's the outline, and then we chamfer the corners off, and as usual, we extrude it up, turn it over. Then we need some sides on the plug, make some sides. Extrude them up, then we need a hole for the cord to come in, remove that section, and then we'll need two surfaces for the screws to screw into, so we put a shoulder on that side, mirror it to the other side, and then we put some holes through the middle for the screws. Now I've created a mock-up of the wire, and as you can see it interferes with the bottom of the plug, so I've made scallops at each of the nine connections in order to give the wire some clearance. And here you see it again with the wire and all the components replaced. Now at the far end we need a little nose taking out the plug in order that the lid can latch underneath. There we go, we've got a little lip. And then the final bit to make is of course a lid which will be the same outside profile extruded up and then a step to fit within the walls of the plug same holes pushed through in the same places and that's a basic plug lid now I wanted to make a little kind of indentation in the top which would incorporate a cord grip you can see the ridge to grab the uh, wire as it comes in and add the nose on which will engage in the lip of the back of the plug and they are both the finished components ready to be sent to the 3D printer here we see them on the Cura program being processed and sliced ready to go in the 3D printer and print me my plugs. Sections at various different heights just checking that the print was going to work properly. Now here's a little time lapse film of the plug being made on the 3D printer.
So the plug is successfully printed. Now we can start constructing the internal bits. First I take my PCB board and cut it up into strips which are 3 by 9 then we break up the headers into units of 9 and I solder tack the header to the PCB board one at each end and then I will fully solder them up. I'm only using 5 of the 9 connections, 2 for the point motor operation and 3 for an LED feedback. Uh, here you see uh, three that I've already finished. There we go. A wire connection on one side, plug body on the other. Push it through the slot, put the lid on, screw the two screws home and here we have a finished plug. And all that's left to do is plug them into the motors on the underside of the board and run the white wires back to my Mimic boards. And it made wiring up a heck of a lot easier. No crawling around underneath the board pushing individual wires home. They all work very successfully. If you want to have a go at making your own, I've uploaded the STL file to a website called Thingiverse and just search Cobalt point motor plug and feel free to download it and have a go but not for commercial use. Thanks for watching. Please comment, like, share, subscribe and ring the bell for notification when the next video is out. Thanks. Bye.